Hello, my dear learning partners. In this video, I'm going to solve a question, including an ideal op-amp. Firstly, let me briefly explain what an op-amp is. Well, an op-amp is an amplifier, as the name suggests, operational amplifier. So, if we give it an input, it amplifies the input and gives an output. It has two inputs and usually a single-ended output. Let me draw an op-amp here. Positive terminal non-inverting input and negative terminal inverting input let's give give them names v1 and v2 and output v out let's call the currents as i plus and i minus in the back of your mind you might be asking how do we build the circuit inside op amps however for now just think the op amp as a black box with two inputs and only one output. There are several advantages to this abstraction. If we have a complex circuit consisting of lots of transistors and stages, in our mind, we can simplify or view that as an op-amp. Then this circuit becomes easier to analyze. Furthermore, with an op-amp, we can build certain circuits that would not be possible to build with only one input. So if we have an amplifier, we must have some sort of voltage gain, A0. What this means is that V out equals A0 times non-inverting non input voltage V1 minus inverting input voltage while the op-amp is operating in its linear region. This equation holds. Let's now look at the input-output characteristics of an operation amplifier. Here we can see that. We can also see the linear and linear region and saturation region here, saturation regions. A feedback path between an op amp's output and its inverting input can force the op amp to operate in linear region, where this equation holds. An, an ideal op amp has infinite loop gain A0 and input resistance. On the other hand, it has zero output resistance. Hence, the input voltage and current are constrained as V1, V1 equals V2 for an ideal open. And the currents I plus and I minus should be equal to zero. Those two equations holds for an ideal open. Now, with this knowledge, let's try to solve the question. Since the non-inverting terminal is at ground here, inverting terminal should also be 0 volt. Therefore, V plus equals V minus equals 0. Because the op-amp is ideal, the currents going into op-amp terminals should be 0. I plus equals I minus, and it is also equal to 0. Then let me write the KCL equation at the inverting terminal of the op-amp here, V minus. Let me write the KCL equation. Current going into this, this node is Vx minus V minus over 10. It is equal to current going out of this node. And it is V minus minus V out divided by Ohms. Let me cancel those tens and V minus equals to zero. Therefore, we can cancel those two. What we get is Vx equals to minus V out. This is our first equation. Let me write the KCL on this node Vx the other node. All the currents are going out of this node. Therefore, we should sum them. Vx minus V in divided by 10. Vx divided by 10 plus Vx minus V minus divided by 10 plus Vx minus V out 
divided by 10 and it is equal to 0. Let me cancel 10s and let me substitute minus v out instead of vx minus v out minus v in plus sorry for this vx we should also substitute minus v out minus v out again minus v out minus this is v minus equals to zero therefore we can cancel it zero minus v out again instead of vx minus v out equals to zero minus five v out equals v in therefore v out equals to minus one over five v in this is our last result thank you for listening <laughs> Çalışkandır, Türk milleti zekidir.